So first sum is evaluate determinant half 8, 4, 2. So here we have taken a 2 by 2 determinant. So how to evaluate a 2 by 2 determinant? That is determinant half 8, 4, 2. The operation is very simple. V multiply this into this and this minus this and this. So the evaluation of a determinant of 2 by 2 order is carried out as first product is taken from top left to bottom right minus the top right to the bottom left. So half into 2 minus 8 into 4. So here 2 is cancelled by 2 we get 1 minus 8 for the 32 and simply we get minus 31. Now the second sum is simple evaluation of a 3 by 3 determinant where all the elements of the determinant are numerical. So what's the way? First write 2 and this row and this column we have to eliminate in mind then these four elements are left that will be put in a bracket in the form of the difference of the cross multiplication. The cross multiplication of these four elements are written in the bracket in the same way as we have done in 2 by 2 order. First product is taken from the top left to the bottom right and the second product we have to take from the top right to the bottom left and we have to put a minus sign between them. So 6, 11 is 66 minus 8, 9 is 72. Then we put minus sign and the next element of the first row that is 4. First element is taken with the positive sign, then the second element is taken with the negative sign and in the next uh, step, in the next term, uh, the uh, next element 7 is taken with the positive sign. So we have to take these elements one by one with positive, negative, positive sign. So first we have taken 2 and we have written the cross multiplication of these four elements in the bracket. Then we have written minus 4 over there. Now we have to eliminate in mind the column and the row in which this particular element lies. So this row and this column vanish and these four elements are left so we have to multiply them in the same way as we have done for the first element. The first product is taken of 3 and 11, 33. Then minus and the second product is taken from top right to the bottom left. So 9 for the 36. Then the next element is taken with positive signs, so plus 7, put the bracket and the column and the row in which 7 lies are eliminated in mind, then we are left with these 4 elements, so we have to take the cross multiplication of these elements, 3, 8 is 24, minus 6, 4 is 24. Now just we have to simplify them. To bracket. 66 are positive and 72 are negative. So we get minus 6 negative and here minus 4 and within a bracket 33 positive 36 negative. So we are left with minus 3 negative uh, minus 3 that is 3 negative. 
and then plus 7 and in the bracket we have 24 minus 24 that is 0. So simplifying we have minus 12 minus into minus plus 12 and plus 0. So these positive 12 and negative 12 are cancelled out and we are left with only 0. So the value of the given determinant is 0. So this is the example for simple evaluation of a determinant of 3 by 3 order. Now the third type question is when a determinant is given in terms of, a, a, of an unknown variable x and it is given in the form of an equation and we need to find out the value of x. So the question is written like find the value of x if determinant 4x plus 2, 2x plus 1, x plus 1, 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So with the help of this equation we have to find out the value of x. So simply first we have to simplify this 2 by 2 determinant on the left hand side of this equation. So in the same way therefore we have to take the cross multiplication of these four elements and we have to put the minus sign between them. That is we have to take the difference of the cross product of these elements in such a way that the first product is taken from top left to the bottom right and the second product is taken from the top right to the bottom left. So we get 4x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 then minus 2x plus 1 into x plus 1 is equal to 0 as it is. Now here we have to simplify. So as you see there is 2 common in this bracket. So we have to take 2 common and we get in the bracket 2x plus 1, 2x minus 1 as it is minus 2x plus 1 and x plus 1 as it is is equal to 0. If we observe this bracket is common out of these two terms so we have to take 2x plus 1 common so we are left with 2 and this bracket 2x minus 1 minus and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x plus 1 as it is and inside the bracket we have to simplify so we get 4x minus 2 minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we get 2x plus 1 and 4x minus x 3x and minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. So we get two possibilities either 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 or 3x minus 3 is equal to 0. So from this condition we get 2x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to minus half. So one possible value of x is minus half and from the second equation we get 3x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 3 upon 3 and x is equal to 1. So we get the second possible value of, of x is 1. So the required value of x is minus half or 1. So this is the required solution of the given equation. Now the next type of sum is where a determinant is given and we need to write minors and cofactors of the elements of the determinants. So first we have to talk about minors. So writing minors of each and every element of determinant what we have to do? First we have to eliminate the row and the column of the element whose minors is to be 
written. So suppose we have to write the minor of 1, we have to eliminate the row and the column in which this lies in the mind and we are left with these four elements. So the cross, the difference of the cross multiplication of these four elements is the minor of this particular element when the first product is taken from the top left to the bottom right and the second product is taken from the top right to the bottom left. So first we have to multiply this and this. So minus 5 into 2 minus 10 and then we put minus for the difference and we have to multiply 6 and 5. 6 5 is a 30. So this is the minor for this element. So and close in a bracket. Now come to the next element. So we have to eliminate this row and the this and this column in which it is lying and we are left with these four elements so cross multiplication the difference of the cross multiplication of these four elements 4 to the 8 minus 6 3 the 18 then the minor of the next one put the bracket this column and this row eliminated in mind these four elements are left cross multiplication of 4 and 5 is 20 then we have to put minus for the difference and then we have to take the product of these two minus 5 into my plus 3 minus 15 so if we write minus 15 here minus and minus becomes plus 15 now minor of this this row and this column vanish and these four elements are left cross multiplication of these Four in the same way 3 to the 6 minus for the difference and minus 2 into 5 minus 10 minus and minus becomes plus so we get 6 plus 10 minor for this element bracket this column and this row vanish we are left with these four elements so we have to take the cross multiplication of these four 1 to the 2 minus for the difference minus 2 into 3 minus 6 so minus and minus becomes plus and we get 2 plus 6 minor for this element this uh, column and this row in which it is lying are vanished and these four elements are left taking the cross product 1 5 is a 5 minus 3 3 is a 9 minor for this this row this column vanish 3 6 is a 18 minus for the difference minus 2 into minus 5 plus 10 so write down plus 10 as it is minus for this this row and this column vanish 1 into 6 6 minus for the difference minus 2 into 4 minus 8 so minus minus becomes plus 8 and the last and the minor element of the last element this column and this row vanish and the product of 1 and minus 5 minus 5 and put the minus for the difference and 3 for the 12. So we get minus of the elements of the de this determinant. Now we have to just simplify them minus 10 minus 30 minus 40 8 minus 18 minus 10 20 plus 15 35 6 plus 10, 16. 2 plus 6, 8. 5 minus 9, minus 4. 18 minus 10, 8. 6 plus 8, 14. Minus 5, minus 12, minus 17. So this is the way to evaluate the minors of the elements of a given determinant. So now we have to talk about the cofactors so write down subheading cofactors so as we know the relation between the cofactor and minor is cij that is cofactor ij is equal to minus 1 raised to the power i plus j into mij so this is the relation between cofactor and minor. So with the help of minors, we may find the value of 
cofactor of each of each of the element of the determinant by multiplying the minor by minus 1 is to the power i plus j where i and j are the number of rows uh, or the order of the row to which this element that particular element lies and j the column to which that element belongs. But in the case of 3 by 3 order, there is a short trick to write the cofactors. So, what is that short trick? First minor should be written as it is. Second minor with the negative sign outside whatever it is. So, this is minus sign. So, it's, it should be written with the negative sign next element is taken as it is and the next element with the minus sign next element is taken as it is and the next element with the minus sign next element as it is and the next element with the minus sign and the next element as it is when we say with the minus sign that means with the extra minus sign so or in other way we can say the first element is taken as it is and the next element is changed by the sign. If it is positive it becomes negative and if it is negative it becomes positive and the third element is taken as it is and we have to change the sign of the next element then next element is taken as it is and we have to take and we have to change the sign of the next element. In this way alternatively we have to change the signs of the terms taking the first term without changing the sign. So, we get the cofactors of elements of the determinant. So, simplifying we get minus 40 plus 10, 35 minus 16, 8, 4, 8, minus 14, minus 17. So, if we observe the minus, first element is as it is minors and co minor and cofactor are same next element is changed by sign third next element is taken as it is and the next element is changed by the sign next element is taken as it is and the next element is changed by sign next element as it is next to this element is changed by sign and the next element as it is so in this way we may write the cofactors of elements of a determinant easily but this is applicable only in the case of 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 or 7 by 7 order determinants and in the rest of the determinants we have to use this rule though this rule is applicable to every kind of determinant to find out the cofactor and logically if we use this formula for calculating the cofactors of this element determinant, given determinant of 3 by 3 order, we get the same cofactors, but we use this short trick because this trick makes our calculations faster. So, this is the way to find the cofactors and minors of a determinant of 3 by 3 order. The next type of sum is where we need to verify a given condition like determinant of product of A and B matrices is equal to the product of their individual determinants that is determinant A into determinant B where A and B are given in the sum. So what we have to do first we have to find out the product of A and B. So let's do it. AB is equal to matrix 3 minus 2, 1, 1, 0, 4, 1, minus 1, 1 and the B matrix is minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, minus 2, 1, 0, 1. So, let's multiply them. Matrix 3 into minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 into 3 minus 6 1 into 1 plus 1 the next element 3 into 1 3 minus 2 into 
1 minus 2 1 into 0 0 next 3 to the 6 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 1 into 1 plus 1 now next row 1 into minus 1 minus 1 0 into 3 0 4 into 1 4 now the next element 1 into 1 1 0 into 1 0 and 4 into 0 0 next element 1 into 2 is 2 0 into minus 2 plus 0 4 into 1 is 4 now the next element 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 and 1 into 1 1 now the next element 1 into 1 1 minus 1 into 1 minus 1 1 into 0 0 now the next element 1 into 2 is 2 minus 1 into minus 2 plus 2 and 1 into 1 is 1 so we get minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 plus 1 minus 8 3 minus 2 plus 0 plus 1 6 plus 4 10 plus 1 11 minus 1 plus 4 3 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 2 plus 0 plus 4 6 minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 0 0 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 so we get a b is a matrix of minus 8 1 11 3 1 6 minus 3 0 5 so now we have to find out the determinant of this product so determinant of a b is equal to the determinant minus 8 1 11 3 1 6 minus 3 0 5 so let's do it minus 8 bracket 1 5 is a 5 minus 6 0 is a 0 then next element with the negative sign bracket this column this row vanish 3 5 is a 15 minus 6 3 is a 18 minus 18 so minus minus becomes plus 18 the next element is plus 11 and the bracket this column this row vanish 3 0 is a 0 minus minus 3 that is plus 3 so simplifying we get minus 8 into 5 minus 40 minus 1 into plus 33 minus 33 and plus 11 3 to 33 33 so we get negative 33 positive 33 cancelled and we are left with minus 40 so ultimately determinant a b is equal to 40 let it be equation number 1 now we need to find out determinant of a determinant of a is the determinant of 3 minus 2 1 1 0 4 1 minus 1 1 so determinant is 3 first element the column and row vanish 0 minus minus plus 4 and minus and minus 2 becomes plus 2 this column this row vanish 1 1 is a 1 4 1 is a 4 minus 4 and next element is plus 1 bracket this column this row vanish 1 into minus 1 minus 1 0 into 1 0 so minus 0 so we get 3 4 is a 12 and minus 3 into 2 minus 6 and minus 1 into plus 1 minus 1 so we get 12 
minus 7 is equal to 5. Let it be equation number 2. Now we have to find out determinant B. So determinant B is, now the B matrix is the matrix minus 1, 1, 2. So first row is minus 1, 1, 2 and the second row is 3, 1, minus 2. So we get 3, 1, minus 2 and the third row is 1, 0, 1. So we write 1, 0, 1. Now the first element is minus 1, this column and this row vanish, 1 will multiply 1, 1, minus, minus 2 into 0, 0. Then minus with the next element bracket, this column, this row vanish, cross multiply 3, 1, 0, 3, minus, minus 2 into plus 1, minus 2, minus, minus becomes plus 2 and then next element is plus 2. And this column and this row vanish, 3 0 are 0 minus 1 1 are 1. So on simplification we get minus 1 into 1 minus 1 and minus 1 into 5 minus 5 and plus 2 into minus 1 minus 2. So we get minus 1 minus 5 minus 2 that is minus 8. Let it be equation number 3. So now we have to multiply equation number 2 and 3. Equation 2 and 3 are multiplied together. So we get on the left hand side determinant A into determinant B. On the right hand side we get 5 into minus 8. So 5 is a 40 and plus into minus minus we get minus 40. Let it be equation number 4. So if we observe equation number 1 and equation number 4, the right hand side of both the equations are same minus 40 minus 40. So determinant AB is equal to determinant A into B from equation number 1 and 4. It implies that determinant AB is equal to determinant A into determinant B from equation 1 and 4. So we have verified the given condition. So this is the fifth type of sum based on evaluation of determinants.